This is how I would learn to increase volume in Final Cut Pro if I had to start over. I'll show you 10 tricks for adjusting volume, including my favorite keyboard shortcut for making things louder. Stick around till the end and I'll share an under the radar tip for disabling unneeded audio. Like Macaulay Culkin, let's turn it up. All right, the first way to increase volume is to click and drag on this volume line in your clip in the timeline. You can click and drag up to increase the volume or down to decrease the volume. If you hold down command while you do that, you can actually change it one decibel at a time. See how it's just going up one, two, three, four. And then I can come down one decibel at a time as well. This is really good for fine tuning your volume. Select your clip and open up the inspector. It should be over here on the right hand side. If you don't see it, click this button with the three sliders to open it. Up here at the top, you can change the volume with this slider. You can go to the right to make it louder or to the left to make it softer. You can also double click on these numbers and enter the value you want. Let's go five decibels. Or you can click and drag down or up on those numbers to change the volume. If you hold shift while clicking and dragging up or down, it changes it in increments of 10 decibels. If you hold down option while you click drag up and down, you have a finer control over it. To reset, just click this little arrow next to it and select reset parameter. Another handy technique is to select your clip and then go up to modify and adjust volume and then select up or down one decibel at a time. It's even faster to use the shortcut. So I'll select my clip and then I'll press control and plus to increase the volume and minus to decrease the volume one decibel at a time. Very handy. That's my favorite keyboard shortcut. You can also adjust the absolute decibel value by selecting your clip, going to modify, adjust volume, and select absolute, or press control option L. It'll bring up these special controls right here. Now you can enter a value, a positive or a negative value, and Final Cut Pro will set the audio level to the new one and it will remove any keyframes or any other audio adjustments you've done. So let's set this to positive five decibels. I'll press five and then enter. And now the whole clip is at five decibels. Keep in mind that this resets everything, including keyframes and audio fades. Coming up in a bit, I'll show you how to increase the volume of just a section. But first, I gotta show you how to increase volume relative to where it was before. So let's select this clip and I'm gonna go down to a negative 12. And then let's set this other one to a positive two. All right, so we have two different volume levels. Let's select both clips and then go up to modify, adjust volume and select relative or press control command L. And it will bring up these special controls in here that look similar to the absolute volume control except this symbol is a little bit different. So when I enter a value in here, it's going to add or subtract that value to whatever is set here. So in this clip, it's going to add or subtract from two decibels, and in this clip, add or subtract from negative 12 decibels. All right, so here we go. Let's add three decibels. So I'll press three and then enter. So now this, will be at negative nine decibels, and then this will be at five decibels. This is really handy if you want to preserve your audio fades and keyframes, but you want to adjust the volume of all the clips by a certain amount. You can silence a clip by selecting it, going to modify, adjust volume, and then select silence. This will set the volume to negative infinity decibels. And if we look up here in the inspector, we can see that with the slider and the setting right here. We can also restore the original audio level by selecting the clip, go to modify, adjust volume, and select reset. Now it's back to zero decibels. 
You can increase the volume of just a section by pressing R to bring up the range tool. Select a range that you want to change and then click and drag on the volume line to change it. I'm going to hold down command while I do that to change it one decibel at a time. You'll notice that it created these keyframes, these little yellow dots, and that's to create a transition from zero decibels to the new volume level that I made here. I can also reset all the audio changes by selecting the clip, going to the audio inspector, and then clicking on this little down arrow and selecting reset parameter. That removed all the keyframes and put my volume back to zero decibels. Let's say you've imported a clip that has some sound in it, but you know you're never going to use it. You can disable that clip's sound in Final Cut Pro. In the browser, select the clip of, with the sound you want to disable, and then over in the inspector, go to the audio inspector, and uncheck these little boxes here, and that will deactivate the sound. You'll see here in the waveform, there's no more sound. And when I add that to my timeline, you'll see that there's video, but no sound. If you want to turn it back on, simply check that box and the sound will come back on. So there's 10 different ways to increase and adjust the volume in Final Cut Pro. Now that you know how to adjust the volume, you might want to learn how to edit sound better in Final Cut Pro. I put together the top 12 rules for editing sound in Final Cut Pro into this video. Check it out. It's a good one.